Ah, what's good? I don't know what was all that about, but what's poppin' everybody? And welcome to another freaking what if. It's been a long time, y'all. A long time since I've done one of these, and I apologize for the long wait. I know people have been asking for it, and now I'm here to deliver that high quality goodness. And the first things first, if you hear, was that like Miroku doing his wind tunnel? I can't control that. That's my AC unit. It broke and I, I can't really do anything about that but I could try to do something I could try to edit it and post see if I can make it a little more bearable for you all second thing second because my new microphone we got here I can't be really wearing my crest because it's gonna be obscured by said microphone but I'll let you know I still got it I still got it and we already the power of the crest is inside y'all inside so we don't need no tags we don't need none of that but with all that formalities out of the way let's get into today's regularly scheduled programming not just by the title alone you guys are probably wondering which leomon i'm talking of course about the most notorious leomon death in the entire franchise leomon versus beelzemon the death of this leomon set off a series of events that would affect the rest of the entire series so let's see what will happen if we took that away, this scenario begins moments before that traumatic event. Leomon and Beelzemon are trading blows as Leomon is doing his best to fend off this mega level powerhouse. And for a champion level Digimon, he doesn't do half bad. But Beelzemon is clearly a lot stronger. He quickly gains the upper hand and is seconds away from dealing that lethal blow. This time, Leomon's instincts are a lot sharper and he barely manages to survive. At this point, Leomon recognizes his disadvantage and regroups with the others. In the original, Leomon's death causes a number of immediate events to take place. Beelzemon got stronger, Jerry lost herself, and McGeedramon happened. Those three things are no longer the case. This time around, they are all ready to stand their ground, especially Jerry. Seeing her partner almost die made her remember an earlier conversation she had and made her remember that she has the heart of a lion with her partner by her side she'll stand up to face any threat head on and she's looking through her cards to find the best way to assist her partner blue card appears jerry's seen enough battles to know what this means swipes the card and standing in leomon's spot is now grab leomon not only does leomon survive but he digivolves to his ultimate level now again you might be thinking oh what's one more ultimate level digimon gonna do against beelzemon Earlier, Beelzemon put their hands on Rappinmon. Keep in mind this, though weaker, Leomon was able to hold his own against Beelzemon. Not only would this tire him out, but he also didn't have the opportunity to absorb Leomon's data. As a matter of fact, throughout the entire series, Digimon have been shown to be fighting and defeating Digimon on a higher level. There is no doubt that Beelzemon is an extremely powerful Digimon, but with newfound power on the side of the heroes, I believe that they would have been successful in fending him off. And that's where we're gonna end the scenario for today. Now let's go over a few takeaways from this scenario, shall we? All right, so the most obvious thing that a lot of you are probably thinking is that no Magidramon? Yeah. Since Leomon didn't die, Jerry didn't lose herself, and Takata didn't have the opportunity to get stupid angry to force War Graumon to Dark Digivolve into Megidramon. And since Megidramon didn't happen, that means Gallantmon didn't happen. So, no Biomergent. Sure, we got one more ultimate level Digimon and grabbed Leomon. But, what happened to Gallantmon? What happened to Mega Gargomon? What happened to Sakuyamon? Would they be a thing? Who knows? Secondly, there's the issue with Beelzemon. Since he didn't have the opportunity to kill Leomon and the group has fended him off, that would have done massive damage to his already bruised ego. And then also, and since he didn't kill him, there's no redemption arc for him. At least not involving the death of Leomon. So wh what do you think what happened to him? is already a mess, only wanted to get stronger, only wanted to prove himself. So because he was sent on a mission to get rid of some people, and he didn't, you could already see where this is going, can't you? <laughs> Thirdly, there's the problem with the D-Reaper. We all know the D-Reaper. It was the one that was feeding on the Jerry negative emotions, causing all sorts of trouble in the real world. 
Not anymore. So the biggest, biggest bad in Digimon Tangers is at this point, null and void. Unless it could find another victim, who would that victim be? No one was per more perfect than Jerry because she was already a mess when it happened. So Liam on living, it just diverges the timeline in massive waves. So what do you guys think of the scenario? Let me know in the comments down below. What do you think would have happened? Thank you guys for watching. I do enjoy making these. It's been a minute. I'm gonna try to be a little bit more punctual about this. Can I promise anything? No. But will I try? Yes. But well, thank you all for watching. I'll catch you guys later. Bye.